back to BT. Okay, you recognize these faces, a Canadian staple, international staple, we should say, too, because everybody talks Murdoch mysteries. Helene and Yannick, congratulations Thanks. on season 11. Welcome. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. <laughs> uh, filming, always busy, but recently had a, uh, a major fan event in Vancouver, and we were saying before the cameras were rolling, for fans to come out in Vancouver, that's a big deal, but what was the reception you received here in our city for the popular show? It's amazing. It was a bit of a shock. Um, it was hundreds and hundreds of people. Uh, 700 I just found out uh, we couldn't see everybody could see the line around the, the block but uh, it was amazing it was it, it was a very encouraging turnout what are some of the most common questions you get about the show now for any show to reach season 11 that is a massive milestone what are the most common reactions and questions you receive well the question always is why do you think it's as successful as it is and we can never answer it we've tried we don't really know yeah uh, everybody of... states something different <laughs> I think it has to do with the fact that we filled a little hole at the time, you know. We did, there was nothing that was uh, that was doing what we were doing back then. There was nothing truly Canadian that was setting itself in Canada, Canadian history and a period piece. There's a lot that has happened since. Uh, but also, everyone can watch it, you know. So we have fans that are 12 and we have fans who are 80 and everybody in between. So. See, now that's a very good point. And then when you have streaming services out there that kind of share the legacy of the show, if they're not up to speed on season 11 around the world, now they the chance to watch it. Mm -hmm. Has there been any trip either of you have taken where you were shocked by the fact that, wow, we have some diehard Murdoch mystery fans in a certain country or place? I'm always amazed by France. France. I mean, it's more, yeah. it's not that I've been there since this has all kind of become as crazy as it is, but online we see it all, you know. And in France, I have mega fans. You know, they're very excited by the show in France. Yeah, I was in Cannes one year doing promotion for the show, and the taxi driver <laughs> turned around and he says, Ah, bonjour, Inspector Murdoch. <laughs> I, I, I was a little shocked. <laughs> You're like, We made it. Yeah. We made it. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's such a great compliment. And for those fans, and, and now that we're into season 11, there's the excitement, and you, we never want to give away spoilers, but in terms of direction and intent, I've heard you mention the fact that season 11 is going to go a little darker, but for Station House 4, what will be the big themes for, for the upcoming season here? Well, the season finale of season 10 went sort of dark. We had some big cliffhangers. No one was safe, and we had to sort of pick up those story threads at the beginning of season 11, but I think for the most part, it'll be business as usual, although we always have surprises on the show. Certainly, I've been surprised <laughs> this year with some of the stuff. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, no, it, it's not going to wholesale be darker. Uh, uh, we have, you know, the people that we have. We we have great comedians. We have fantastic. Uh, Carl Mockley is guessing this season, right? Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. That was a big score. We were very, mm -hmm. very happy about and that. And he's in a great episode that's actually about Helen Keller and, a, and incredible historical characters that come through. So there's lots of just awesome things happening but we love to have the comic characters pop in there i think yeah, i think he's happy he's there as well because he tweeted i think i'm the only canadian actor who hasn't been on murdoch mysteries <laughs> <laughs> so we we pounced no doubt and a christmas special in the works that you're filming in victoria yep that's going to be uh, really uh, fun I, I like the script a lot it's not you know like you say saccharine christmasy but yeah. uh really on on theme but uh poignant as well and and taking in all that Canada is at 150. So, very it's a cool. really good example of how popular the show's become because we, we made uh, the first Christmas movie three years ago and the writers were like, we're going to make a Christmas movie that is like every, like the most incredible Christmas movie you've ever seen and it'll be played every year in Canada. This is what we thought. And then CBC was like, no, we want another one. And then now we want another one. So it's like, what to do now? And so the story has become, yeah, it's, I think it's better. It's, it's, we're taking Christmas to a different place where it doesn't have to be just about Christmas. We've, you know, I, I really enjoy that. We have a kind of in our Christmas movies so that it draws the kind of audience who don't want this second. Yeah, you got the tagline right there, a very curmudgeon Christmas. <laughs> Season 11, Murdoch Mysteries for you to enjoy a big part of Canadian culture. Listen, great to meet you both. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Continue success. Thanks. Thanks. Keep doing good things in France too. That's awesome. Worldwide. I'll take a break. More to come here on BT. Stay tuned.